Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Lee Gaming. Today I'm gonna show you some highlights from a live stream er yesterday featuring some Marik farming and a Harpy's Reborn deck and Relinquish gameplay. So basically, I'm gonna just show you the deck that I used in my live stream yesterday. So if you miss out the live stream or it's just lazy to check the long video, be sure to check this highlight out. And remember to give a like, subscribe for more videos. I'll be coming out a dino deck and a secret deck later. So be sure to stay tuned for more. There will be three uploads including this today. So remember to like, subscribe and follow me on Facebook to have the latest update and uploads. So this is the Harpy's Reborn deck that I use. I have two Swift Birdman Joe because it's a level 6 monster. So against like Lava deck, I can easily tribute one to remove Lava away and its effect it's pretty good because it returns all spell and trap card on the field to the owner hand. So pretty much uh, a counter deck for a counter card for burn deck. I only have two Harpy Dancer and I did not try to open more. So just make do with it. If you have three of it, maybe replace one Birdman with Happy Dancer. Three Bird Face just to meet up more Happy Lady. And just treat one Happy Lady 1 and two Cyber Happy Lady. And I have two Para Twister. In the replay, I believe you will see a combo with this because I believe that this this combo is really OP. And two Big Bang Shot and three Enemy Controller, two Frag Gate and two Powerful Rebirth. So basically, this is a very powerful counter deck against Galita, Samurai or any burn deck. But recently, there is a lot of spell and trap card that can remove your field spell and destroy it and pretty much it's pretty tough going on from there so let's move on to the next deck that <coughs> i featured in my live stream yesterday relink back to meta so i'll be trying to stay touch with relinquish once it is a tier one deck so we have three relinquish here and three senju three sonic bird and three of the dg desiree of reachers and having fear farewell which means that any monster that you destroy you can randomly discard one fear card from your deck to the graveyard so you can use that the skill to remove this from your deck to the graveyard and reach a summon relinquish and it's and it's basically unaffected by any track effects because of this dg desiree of reacher monster card and just one storm just to clear the back row and two front gate to counter some uh, like hazy frame and some cards that you can't just overpower them. So hopefully you guys enjoy the highlight. So I'm just gonna show you the Merit Farm. I will put the link in the later stage of the video. So if you want to check out more farming videos, be sure to check them out. If you still having issue farming Merit. I have three raw disciple now so basically I will be trying to make a deck with it and hopefully I can show you today or tomorrow is one of my secret deck. So basically this uh, is a catapult turtle effect deck. So all you need to do is to have enough life just stay here the late stage massive mob to farm one of their monster and <coughs> use catapult turtle effect to have some uh, effect damage to Yami Merit for the farm. I will be trying to do live streaming here and there so be sure to check out my Facebook if you want to have some interaction with me and basically live streaming although it's always put Rook to K uh, King of Games but Honestly, I'm open up for anything. You can ask me to do a review or create a dual room or just have some test deck or, you know, just normal interaction with you guys as I like to know more of you guys and hopefully you guys can know me know, know me more. Yep. So I'm trying to pump this mass dash, so that's why I keep Maxim off. But he disappoint me by sending out the raw monster 
and I left with a thousand life point. But I have tons of trap uh, healing cards here, so no big issue on that. I have a flood gate and massive morph. I just bomb massive morph because I don't do not want to take any damage to my health. So one more massive morph and draining sure. I flood gate this guy. Honestly, I will always suggest you guys to flood gate this Bogani because he's very irritating. So basically, it's just waiting. Got some draining sure. Got some life point. A massive morph bumping up the god card. Hopefully this uh Friday for most of you guys or Thursday the god card is available. I hope everyone will just get a free card rather than some farming because it's not fair. I mean we all spend time playing this game. I hope Kon Konami shows some love to us. But we shall see. If that's a uh, farming required, be sure to stay tuned to my channel. I'll be trying to post the farming deck within 12 hours once the event starts. So just remember to follow me. And basically, I'm I'm doing daily uploads. So why not? Just subscribe, follow me. It's free. Not a single penny will be will be spent on this. Honestly, I hate farming because basically I'm lazy <laughs> and farming is always a pain in my ass. So the last turn you will just so exchange, use catapult turtle, get the damage and OTK. Easy peasy. Uh, I think lately they buff up Yami Merrick. She, she, he seems smarter now. So be careful. So next video is a happy lady replay. Honestly, I really like Happy Lady, but I really like them to become meta again, but it's quite hard. It's not easy because of this nerf. So I started off with a Happy Lady, Big Bang Shot, and a Flat Gate against the Samurai Warrior. So it would be much more easier. So destroy him and a Flat Gate here. And you know, it's basically he don't dare to set back row, but now he did one. And I pull up another Cypher Happy Lady to destroy it with Stormy. No big deal. I can switch it up to face up attack. Attack it. And basically, he's just stalling and trying to draw into some good cards, but it's not easy. I'm controlling the board as you can see. Okay, so I'm trying to OTK here. So basically, I'm using powerful rebirth. And I use this effect to destroy one flood gate because I have a flood gate using para twister to destroy my powerful rebirth to go to give an OTK. So that's why I say para twister and big bang shot and happy. This three combination is very little. If you can draw the right cards at the right situation, is the easily OTK. So next highlight is gonna be relinquish, relinking back to metal. Hopefully relinquish will be back. Now relinquish is pretty poor against decks like Hazy Frame or Burn decks. They just don't have the hype anymore. There are just so many things to counter them. So I start off pretty bad, send you just to draw more relinquish. And it's a yummy deck, so it's okay. I'm just happy with it. And just keep on milling out. Just being patient, no need to rush. And it's against this I would say it's a new deck type that it's pretty interesting. I will try to do a video on this deck one of in one of this week, hopefully. So I feel farewell because I have a monster destroyed. So that's why this skill is also whiter for this. And I just use the Reacher spell. Banish one of the uh, DG. 
and I use an arm, I just take over one monster and do another relinquish play. A bit greedy if you ask me, but I have no chance. I decide to defend, and he used a Chaos Hunter on me. And I take the relinquish. I thought everything is under control. I'm pretty confident. I use Storm, and there comes the shit. He just took. I can't steal any hero. I have to pretty much face down all my creature with Sonic Bird. He just tried, and he himself have one relinquish. So I was like, what? Never mind, I tribute take. I still have more cards than him. He cut guy, destroy one of my relinquish, and the bot changed. The bot totally changed, but the cut. The destiny draw is here, Sonic Bird for the leader, reach a spell, everything was going good, and I got the win. The heart of the card tells me so. Relinquish effect, takes the card guy, attack, and go for the OTK. Definitely, this is not the best way to play Relinquish. It's just one concept that, but it's for fun. I think it's been quite some time since anyone see relinquish back in the ladder. It's always the burn deck, the gladiator, the ancient gear, and so on and so forth. So next game, if not wrong, not wrong. The last highlight is against ancient gear. So I open up with a pretty good hand. I have my combo straight up with an uh, enemy controller, which is always good. But I always like milling. Milling more cards, getting more cards to my hand, and just preparing myself. Always trying to be aggressive because I can always dispose Senju or Sonic Bird. They are not the core of this deck. And Sergeant Electro, I do not I I turn it uh, to defense. Honestly, I shouldn't bother about it. Because I will take this Sergeant Electro in the next turn, but it's okay. Sonny Bird, take another Reacher card, and now here comes the combo. Bad Illusion Reacher. I use Relinquish effect with DG effect, he tried to fuck it. Nope. Nope. I rejected his fuck it. And he bring up the, not the boss. The semi boss, ancient gear beast, and I have another fear and farewell, and I do another relinquish summon for the easy peasy cheesy OTK. He tried to warp disruption, but it's okay. I, I'm regretting track because I'm relinking back to the meta. I hope you oh, guys. Enjoy the highlight of the live stream yesterday. As I repeat again, remember to subscribe and just watch my other videos. I have different deck types in the playlist or in the video file. And follow me on my Facebook for more uploads and updates. Have a good day or good night and stay tuned for more. There will be more uploads coming up. So enjoy. Signing off. Peace.